There's so much water everywhere. I wonder where all that water comes from. What do you think? Mm, I'm tempted to think that the cup is perspiring. Why not say that water is leaking out from the cup? No way. That's milk tea in there. <laughs> Seriously, where does the water come from? Well, the water comes from the surrounding air. Hold on a minute. The air? Yes. There is water vapour in the air. And some of these water vapour end up as liquid water on your cup. Ah, that explains the water. But how does it turn from water vapour back into liquid water? Is it due to the cold surface of the cup? Well, you are not wrong. But first, let us understand how condensation works. So Joanne, let's recall the lesson on evaporation. Do you remember about the speed of liquid molecules? Well, I remember that evaporation occurs because there are some molecules that have higher kinetic energy than others. And these molecules would escape the liquid if it is at the surface of the liquid. That's correct. But do you know that the reverse can occur as well? Mm, so there are some air molecules that are slower? Yes. Similar to evaporation, there are some molecules that have a lower kinetic energy to a point where they cannot exist as a separate molecule anymore. These low energy molecules would tend to stick together and form a mass of liquid. This usually happens when a gas cools down and a lot of molecules just don't have the energy to continue moving alone. The result is a liquid that has condensed into a liquid from a gas. My gosh, uh, condensation is simply the reverse of evaporation? In a way, yes. But teacher, what then happens to the kinetic energy that these molecules have? I mean, the energy can't possibly just disappear into thin air. Well, pun aside, the kinetic energy of the gas molecules is spread to the rest of the liquid molecules, which makes the liquid molecules move faster. Chotomai, this is the exact opposite of evaporation where it cools the body. Well done, yes. Heat is actually released during condensation from the gas to the liquid in this reaction, warming up the liquid. This explains why when you put your hand over hot steam, it hurts a lot. Not because the steam itself is hot, but because the condensation of steam into water dissipates heat onto the skin, making it hot and unbearable. So, kudasai, don't, don't try this at home.